Okay. So, uh, let's start with you tell me uh, who you are and uh, what you do. I am Giuseppe and I have been practicing permaculture for some years till now and here we are um, just at the end of a workshop and some people are still here working on the field very inspired to finish what we have started during the um, theoretical part and yes I'm here to uh, to facilitate the learning uh, process of um, some people in a in a very inspiring pro in project, and yes, to try to make the world a little a little bit um, more more sustainable, like just planting a garden and uh, recycling water and um, trying to. Um, close the cycles that we open and we are not used anymore to close them back because there is somebody else who is supposed to take care of them. Uh, for someone who's really not uh, into all this, um, what is permaculture? Permaculture is a design system which tries to benefit life in all its forms and through design it tries to set up uh, sustainable and regenerative human-managed ecosystems. So it tries to close all the cycles of nutrients, resources and outputs that we normally call wastes. And in this kind of system we try to avoid to having wastes at all. And we use them as a resource for something else in the same system is an anti-entropic system. When you do a workshop like this, it's not a design course, but a workshop, um, what's uh, the basic things that you hope that uh, will uh, stay with your students? Uh, my main goal is to give them a mindset, like a frame, uh, to observe nature and they, their products and needs in a different way and to give them some inspirations about techniques and strategies that we can use. It's not a, this one was not a design course so it's not complete, it's just an introduction with the main concepts and methods of design and some techniques that you use uh, really often in, in a project like composting methods or uh, water saving strategies and, and techniques and features to, um, to apply in, in a project. So it's really a Basic, basic skills, but that already give some inputs on and get the people uh, interested and focused on their uh, daily life. Because what we talk about is daily life. We we drink water every day, we eat every day, and uh, so we need to produce this food. We need to save that water. We need to make use of our. Um, of our grey water, of our uh, rain water that we don't uh, let the soil absorb. So we, we can um, apply all many techniques to, yeah, to, to use the, those resources in a useful way. So let's uh, think about the last uh, week. We uh, did a lot of things. Can you kind of give me a reminder of what what we did uh, from the theory part first? Okay. The first days we we stayed much more on theory because we needed an introduction to what permaculture is, the ethics um, that are the ba the base of the of permaculture and the principles that are designing principles we can apply in every project in every climate and then we went through some methods of design 
like uh, mapping or uh, understanding the flows of energy we call them sectors like wind water and sun winter sun summer sun and so on zones of action when we design through zoning uh, trying to make our own energy and management more effi efficient so we try to put what we use the most next to our center of action then we moved to some techniques and strategies and this workshop was about mostly about gardening and um, what we call zone one like the most intensively used zone and so we went through composting systems worm farms uh, worm compost uh, bokashi which is a hot compost another hot compost which is berkeley compost um, then we made a biofertilizer, a capture of microorganisms, and then we went through uh, water harvesting structures like swales and uh, which are um, ditches on contour to stop the water and let it sink and let it be absorbed by the soil and use it for uh, photosynthesis and growing of plants. And then we went through gardening, like how to frame a garden, the size of growing beds, how to save work and not to step on our own loose soil, which is like throwing our work and the work of earthworms and all the microorganisms which live in the soil. And then uh, the workshop, uh, was becoming more and more practical uh, toward the hand and at the end we planted a garden and we are still doing it uh, yes we will uh, see many different techniques of gardening according to place and resources and time and management and so on yes this was our workshop for these days What fascinates you about the permaculture approach? What fascinates me is to be focused on the solutions because we already have many problems and we don't need uh, that much to be um, concentrated and focused on the problems. We really need a practical approach which is based on ethics and principles and which already goes for the solutions and most of them are really easy to apply like uh, gardening you can make a non-perfect garden but you start with um, subtracting to a degenerative model the model of supermarkets and chemical agriculture polluting the water table, polluting the sea, polluting the soil and so on we can move to organic and resource recycling system so I really like this and I really like that is not just a technique because permaculture is not about techniques it uses techniques but is a uh, it's a mind frame you can apply the same principles the same designing principles to everything and this really gives me an overview and a different way of thinking and i think that this is successful we cannot have sep separated minds when we garden and when we talk to people and when we act politically we we are always the same people and i like this in permaculture we try to integrate rather than segregate and the movement has spread so much i think because of this because it gives a hook to every kind of experience every kind of learning um, um, learning style every kind of uh, attitude of people
Imagine I'm uh, I live in in Berlin. I work in the office and uh, I have my little flat and that's it. And now I hear you talk about this and I think yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, but uh, what ca what can you tell me? I can tell you um, start to move towards something like this. Don't throw everything away. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't make sense and it's probably is not gonna be a good design and we try to to be more sustainable uh, through designing maybe a job in Berlin in an office might be sustainable uh, if you're doing that job for our organization so as we always say it depends but if you are not happy with that if you cannot um, find yourself in that image in that um, environment I would suggest to start to watch videos, read books, uh, attending courses and workshops and making internships or whatever, volunteering in farms and try to realize, to, to get aware, to be aware of our outputs or, and our inputs, what we need and what we produce, either if it is a um, good product or something that can become a waste. So maybe what is really dangerous in our society is hiding. Our society is hiding this. Uh, rural life is not necessarily more, um, how to say, environmentalist uh, but you look at what you do you see it and probably in most of the cases people living in big cities or just being cutting away cutting off uh, their inputs where do they come from how um, do they how the society supplies to those needs and same thing for the outputs what we produce uh, you don't get your responsibility which is actually the resume of the three ethics of permaculture earth care people care and fair share try to apply these three ethics and to think in that way and everything I think would become clearer and happier to, to live. Um, let's uh, look a little bit in the future. How? What do you? What's your outlook about this permaculture movement? I, I hope that permaculture movement would just disappear because it will become just common sense because it it is what it is uh, most of our uh, parents and and yeah uh, citizens of the past and villagers in the past were kind of applying permaculture in their way in, with their techniques their knowledges now we have much more we have super fast access to information we have super fast access to um, really complex studies and really deep uh, knowledges about soil about water about everything um, because of internet because of um, traveling of people um, so it's yeah I think that in, I hope that in a few years or uh, whatever uh, it would take that it would just disappear just become again common sense but with much more knowledge with much more information and uh, connections between people which are which maybe live very far from each other yeah I hope that permaculture will disappear <laughs> One great book to read to start with is Introduction to Permaculture by Bill Mollison and there is plenty of videos uh, maybe the most inspiring ones come from uh, Joe Floton website and yeah you can easily find them and 
Yeah, there is. There, there are many the, on YouTube. If you just type Joe Floton or um, yeah, it really depends by what <laughs> you are interested in, <laughs> because uh, there are videos on big landscaping regeneration, like John Liu uh, lesson of Lost Plateau, for example, and really small. Uh, urban permaculture uh, videos uh, you can find them typing Ron Finlay or Jean Martin Fortier or yeah small farms it, there there are there is plenty of uh, informations and media that you can look for okay so to nail it down <laughs> right one inspiring video Lessons of Lost Plateau by John Liu and the videos on Joe Floton's channel. A PDC is a permaculture design course. Uh, its curriculum is fixed um, all over the world. It's 72 hours and you have some topics to cover during that course. And this is supposed to make you a designer. It's for people who want to learn how to design properly, to become designers of sustainable systems. A practical workshop, you obviously cover uh, part of it, we have done it. This was a 10 days workshop and we went through, I would say, 30%, 20 to 30% of the topics of a PDC, but uh, there is much more uh, practical experience involved in this kind of workshops. Um, the, I think that this kind of events is more to start with, to get inspired, to have some tools and to start to think in a permacultural way and yeah um, this is the goal of these workshops many uh, young people and also not just young people uh, they really want to get their hands dirty. I wanted to when I started, so I think it's really useful to um, participate in this kind of events, uh, getting out of the cities or uh, getting out of the box <laughs> and try to experience uh, different ways of doing because there, there is not that much that you can observe. It's growing more and more, but with this you really start to figure out how a garden could look like or a water uh, retention strategy could look like. You really do it, even if you didn't design all of it properly because you miss some, uh, some knowledges and some approaches that just a PDC can give you. Anything else? If you had like the whole world uh, watching you, what would you tell them? <laughs> Plant a garden. <laughs> Plant a garden and take care of our um, waste and our um, action in in the environment. Yeah, think at close all the cycles of nutrients, water and with people same thing try to apply the three ethics that's it which one earth care people care and fair share create abundance okay